Hey guys, it's Lala and you're watching Lala to Row. Today we're going to be taking a look at my melanated decks. So that's all the decks that I have in my collection that have, you know, people of color, that brown skin, you know. Um, this is something that I just wanted to do because it's Black History Month. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to go through and see what I had. Um, at first, I thought that I would title this video, you know, my African American collection, but the more that I look through my decks, the more that I'm realizing that, you know, not all of them are just African American. Some of the decks are um, strictly like African based. Some are, you know, just a mixture. So I think it's best to title this just my melanated deck collection, okay, with people of that beautiful brown skin. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first deck that I'm going to show you guys are one that I got from Etsy, and it's by Independent Collector um, Creator, excuse me, and it's the Black Hollywood Romance Stars. Now I do have the first one and the second one. I just keep them in one bag together. So you'll see that you have part one and then you also have part two here. And I like them because when I'm doing like um, love readings, I can kind of separate maybe how the masculine is feeling and the feminine and kind of go from there. But they're very nice and they have all people of beautiful, beautiful brown skin. And this is just a really great deck to use um you know for your love readings if you like them you might be familiar with some of the shows that are in this video i mean in this deck and some of them you may not be familiar with but i know this one i really like and then i really like also the second part because it has some of the newer shows So this one is always fun. You guys know Jamie Foxx show. This one's just always fun to work with. And when you wanna see some folks like, you know, that are have beautiful brown skin, this is a good one here. So that is the Romance Hollywood stars decks of course like i said i have one and two and i just keep them in a bag together we're gonna go a little quick because i i have about 15 decks to show you so i don't want to be here all day and i know you guys have things to do as well this beautiful sunday so keeping on with the love decks the next one i chose is the erotic tarot this is another deck that I use for love readings and it's a mixture okay so it's not all people of color but it's a mixture of people of color as well as you know different ethnicities but it's really nice it is very sexual so I'm not going to go through too many of these cards but as you guys can see you know, it has the interracial dating and I love it. I love the, the melanin skin and this one is um just one that I think is really, really nice to work with, okay? So like I said, I'm not gonna go through too many of those, but this is the Erotic Tarot and I think it's just a wonderful deck to use and it has a good mixture of um, people of color, okay? All right, let's keep going. And I'm just gonna randomly pull at this point in time because I have a lot of decks here and there's no particular order for these. The next deck I'm gonna show you guys, I picked it up off of, um, I picked this one up off of Etsy as well. And it's called Tales from the Heart Oracle. And it is a love deck as well. Um, these are the backs and it's just regular and it's a love deck as well as you can see there's a lot that you can grab from these it does have a guidebook and this is great to use with your your love readings too so 
so yeah, these are, this is an independent deck. And it's really fun. I like this one. No sorries allowed. So yeah, if you wanted to do like a love reading and just kind of, um, you had a client or someone who just, you know, wanted to use these type of decks, I think this is really good and it goes well with it. Okay. So check that out if you're interested. Like I said, I got that one off of Etsy. It's called the Tales from the Heart Oracle. All right, let's see. We also have, I think that's almost it for my love decks. Um, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, another one that I have. This is the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas, the first edition. I got this many, many years ago when it first came out and I just was so happy to be able to get this deck. It comes with a guidebook and it's just a beautiful deck, it really is. I know they've come out with like a second edition now. I don't have that one. It's very similar to this one. So I don't feel like I need to get the second edition. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Amazon is going to be, they're gonna be reprinting this deck this year on Amazon mass market. So you can purchase this. I believe I did see a listing for that. But I really like this one. This is a go-to deck for me when I want to feel connected to who I am, you know, my ancestors and, and just who I am personally. Like I can see myself in these cards. So this is one that I really like to work with. And I love this card. I think it's so beautiful. So yeah, this is just one that I'm, you know, that I'm loving. So that is the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas. Um, and like I said, I think they are reprinting it this year, mass market. So you can check Amazon out and see about that. Um, another one that I use, and I just keep it in this cute little bag. I like this bag. And it is Our World today daily guidance oracle so i'll use this deck a lot with my afro goddess tarot that i just showed you and it is an independent deck however you know i think they're selling it on amazon so you can purchase it there as a guidebook and these are the bags And I use it for like an archetype deck. So if I'm doing a reading, um, this would be a good archetype deck for me to use as well. And it works so perfect with that Afro Goddess Tarot that you would think is by the same creator, but I don't think it is. This one is by Teresha Brown. And my Afro Goddess deck, uh, I think it's by Andrea. It says Andrea Furtick. So, yeah, I don't even think it's by the same creator. So, but yeah, so this one is um, just one that's fun. And you can use it as like an archetype sort of deck if you want. So, but this is the Our World Today Daily Guidance Oracle. And it's really fun to use. All right, next up, switching gears just a little bit. I'm going to go with this one. This one is called the Oracle of the Great Mystics. And I really like this deck a lot. It helps me feel like I'm um, working with my ancestors. I really like this one. So these are the bags of them and obviously like i said this video 
is going to be dedicated more so toward you know the melanated decks so darker skins obviously not all of them are that way but i do find that i, I like to work with this um when i'm doing a lot of ancestor work so i like this deck a lot beautiful this is the gift card i don't know what that's all about looks like a title card that's mixed in but hey listen i like this one a lot um to do some ancestor work and it's a mixture obviously of different colors of people but you know there's definitely some melanated folks here and i like to work with these as well so if you're interested you can check this out i think i might have purchased these on amazon um this is called the oracle of great mystics and it does come with a cute little guidebook too okay the next deck i'm gonna show you guys it just makes me feel so good and the the guidebook is amazing i thought about rehoming this one a few times but i just couldn't it's called the wisdom keepers oracle and i just love this deck it, it is so great um it helps get you through a lot of things a lot a lot of things um so i like this one and i've used it a ton and here are the backs of the cards and um it just makes me happy i don't know when i see this deck it makes me think of my grandmother my great grandmother you know people in my family from long ago and i like working with it So obviously you see that there's a lot of people of color here, melanated folks. But this deck is also diverse too, okay? Because it has a mixture, not everyone is darker shades. But yeah, I really enjoy this one a lot. And um, oh, <laughs> I don't know, something about it. I just, I appreciate this one and it's a it's a keeper for me even though i don't use it all the time um it's a keeper for me in that the messages when i read them they're always helpful and i feel like i learn a lot of life lessons from this deck so this is a keeper and again you know this deck is called the great the wisdom keepers oracle okay Wisdom Keepers Oracle. Very beautiful. If you like it. I think it's still in stock. I don't think this is out of print yet. So, but yeah. So that's that one. And I haven't edged it. I haven't even thought about edging it. <laughs> um, but let's keep going. The next deck I'm going to show you guys is... The Hoodoo Tarot. And I have such a mixed relationship with this deck. Sometimes I think about rehoming it. Other times I'm like, no, I love it. You know, sometimes I'm triggered by some of the images. And other times I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. You know, so I have a mixed relationship with this one. It's a huge box. That's another thing. Um, but I, I like it. And don't really like the inside of the box where they put the cards on two different sides I don't feel like that was necessary so I would love to see this deck be reprinted with a more you know practical box that would be great but here are the cards those are the backs You could do a lot of ancestor work with this deck too. But like I said, I've had a mixed relationship with it over time. But ultimately, you know, there's things about it I really appreciate and um, I want to work with it deeper.
so yeah but this is um see like that's kind of triggering and another thing sometimes it can be hard because the names are changed on the major arcanas so you know a lot of the names are different you really have to you really have to work with this deck you know to know exactly what it's trying to say you have to spend some time with it so stuff like this kind of triggers me with the guns and stuff you know i usually try to steer away from cards that have all the guns and things like that there's another card in here that's kind of triggering to me as well um but yeah so this is it and like i said i have a mixed relationship with it but i do think it's beautiful and um i want it to continue to grow i love this card i want to continue to grow my relationship with this deck for sure so that one is the hoodoo tarot all right guys a few more we're actually going to these quite quickly i'm surprised because i thought i would be all day here <laughs> um but we're doing a great job so let's see the next one I'm going to show you is called Elemental Alchemist Oracle. I love this deck a lot. And I think it's so pretty. I love working with it. These are the backs. And I just edged it here in this little metallic bronze color. And these are just so nice. Very simple, but nice. And I'll show you guys, this is beautiful. I'll show you guys the deck that I use this with, okay? So this is the Elemental um, Alchemist Oracle. And the same creator made the Black Tarot. So this is going to be one that I was going to show you next. So let me open this up. It's a huge box, so it's kind of hard, difficult to open. And then once you get the box open, there's a box within a box. <laughs> so let's take some time here. But the, I think the packaging is beautiful. And I'll show you guys this one here together in case you're interested. I fell in love with this deck last year. All right, um, this is the black tarot. I did edge mine in this gold color here, and these are the backs of them. Okay, so let's do a side-by-side -side here so you guys can kind of see this oracle. Let's put that there. And then you can see the tarot. Put that right in the middle okay so now you can see how beautiful they work in pair together um yeah i really like that and i'm just mixing these all around let me be careful <laughs> all right but yeah you guys can kind of see how they pair and how they work together It feels like a really family-oriented sort of deck, this uh, black tarot here. So I really like that. Okay, I'll do one more and show you. Passion, the Eight of Wands. And the soul okay so like let's say you just wanted to pair these together you you could just do that there's so much that I could pull from this just looking at these three cards there's so much I could pull from it so but yeah these are really beautiful I love working with them this is the black tarot and the elemental alchemist Oracle paired together and like I said I do think they are by the um, same creator her name is, uh, 
you check out my box. Her name is Nyasha Williams. Okay. So very beautiful. Alright, couple more decks that I'm gonna show you. Alright, so the next deck that I'm gonna show you. I don't know if this is African American or melanated deck at all, but I, I this is where I keep it. The Sacred Cycles Oracle by Jill Pyle. Um, I do keep it, like I said, with my my melanated um, collection. Cute bags. I love it. I love working with this deck. Um, this is one that I do is kind of almost within that like self-care realm for me, but it's more so like not just self-care, but more so like my feminine body and connecting with my feminine body and the changes that I go through as a woman and um, just within myself, period. So I like this one. I'm going to show you guys how I use this one and how I pair it up with and what I paired up with, okay? So if I use this deck, I'm pairing it up with the Sacred Sisterhood Tarot, which is one that I just love. I love this deck. I really do. And I believe I got it for a really good price too. But I'll show you. So if I'm using my Sacred Cycles Oracle, I'm usually pairing it up with my sacred sisterhood tarot okay so let's just kind of put the deck in half and then let's take a look at them together and how they pair okay I just like it like this. The waxing crescent moon, eight of pentacles, and spring. That's good. Okay, let's do one more. The waning gibbous moon, the magician, and the wolf. Ooh, so I thought probably feel like something was like veiled right now, especially with the wolf. I would say, you know, you can read the guidebook and go a little deeper into like the meaning and definition of each card. But this is typically how I use it um, when I pair this up. How pretty is that, guys? How pretty. Okay, so that is the Sacred Sisterhood Tarot and the Sacred Cycles Oracle. We literally only have a few more, so I'm flying through. All right, so let's see. The last few decks I'm going to show you are just going to be random um, decks that I have in my collection, but I really like. This is the Realist Oracle. It came out last year, and I really, really liked it when I received it. Um, Lots of people of color with that beautiful brown melanated skin. These are the backs, which could be better, but hey. <laughs> and this is how the deck looks. It's funky. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's different, right? But I like it. So all of the people in here are of brown skin, I believe. And this is great for like even self-care too, but what I like about it is it's just really modern.
yeah this is great to use with that um elemental alchemist oracle as well let me know if you picked this one up already if you have this in your collection this is the realist oracle and it's really really fun to use yeah people of brown skin mostly in this deck okay all right moving forward i have two more that i want to show you all and then we're done next up <laughs> I'm just, i chose the metaphysical cannabis oracle and this is one that i have had an ongoing up and down relationship with as well just trying to figure out where to best use it in my collection i love the artwork but i was struggling you know for a while on like how do i use this where do i put this um and this is one that i i just realized it did have a lot of a lot of beautiful brown skin people in it not all but some and it's really fun so um let's see if i can cross come across a few isn't that beautiful love that love that card there's definitely some brown skin folks in here and like i said not all but some look how beautiful that is if you have this deck i want you to let me know how do you pair this what do you pair it with um where do you use it in your collection like I said, I love the artwork, but I kind of struggle there sometimes just knowing what's the best set to use with this. And I also feel like that could be worth a separate video for me. It's just kind of pairing it up with different, different tarot that I have. But yeah, I mean, obviously this is a, di a diverse deck, but still you will find... A lot of really beautiful um, melanated skin in this deck so again this is the metaphysical cannabis oracle okay and the very last deck that I wanted to show you all let me put this up because I don't have a big mess to clean up <laughs> once this is over so the very last deck that I want to show you all is the African Goddess Rising Oracle. I'm sure you all are familiar with this beautiful deck. Came out, I think, a couple years ago. Beautiful, wonderful backs. And this is just one I just love. I love the artwork and I love the colors. I love this. I would like for them to come out with a tarot that works good with this one. But yeah. So let me know what you think about this one. If you have it in your collection and what you use it with. This is the African Goddess Rising Oracle. Very, very beautiful. So yeah, guys, I mean, that is it. You've uh, you know pretty much watched me go ahead and show you a number of my melanated decks <laughs> that have people of color, just beautiful brown skin. And this is just something I wanted to take a look at and see what I had in my collection and reflect on, you know, being that it is Black History Month. So, you know, I appreciate you guys for watching Lala Tarot. Um, you know, feel free to give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see what I come back with next time. And again, thank you so much for watching Lala Tarot. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.